Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have installed and set up RabbitMQ using Docker. In this lecture, we are going to explore RabbitMQ management plugin. So if you can notice here, the RabbitMQ management plugin is started listening port 155672. And if you can go ahead and, you know, just type the URL localhost colon 155672, this will open RabbitMQ management plugin. So go to browser and in a new tab just type localhost colon 15672 and this is the port basically the RabbitMQ management plugin is listening. Okay. So hit enter and by default the RabbitMQ uses guest as a username and guest as a password. So just go ahead and type guest over here as a username and guest as a password. Alright and go ahead and click on login. So if you can see here this is the user interface for RabbitMQ management and using this user interface you can go ahead and create the queue you can go ahead and create the exchange and you can bind the exchange and queue using you know routing key as well so let me show you how we can do that well let's begin with the connections tab over here so in the connections you can see all the TCP connections well whenever we connect our application with the RabbitMQ server that entry you can able to see in the connections tab over here next comes channels so basically the producer and consumer will basically exchange a message over a channel okay so whenever we establish a connection that is tcp connection between producer and consumer using rabbitmq that entry you can able to see under channels tab okay so most of the time we will focus on exchange and queues tab over here so go ahead and click on exchange tab and let's create a new exchange so you can see this option over here add new exchange so let's expand this add new exchange and let's give exchange name over here for example let's say exchange underscore demo and there are multiple types of exchanges for example direct pan out headers and topic so you know use by default direct exchange and then durability let's keep durable by default okay and you can also provide the arguments but i'm going to keep all the default values for this exchange as it is and go ahead and click on add exchange over here and as soon as you click on add exchange a new entry will be added here you can see a exchange underscore demo entry will be added in this table so go ahead and click on this exchange underscore demo okay and here we need to basically bind a exchange with a queue by using a routing key so now we have created exchange next we need to create a queue as well right so go ahead and click on queues tab over here so expand this add a new queue uh, you know tab over here and just give queue name something like queue underscore demo okay and let's keep all these values as a default and let's click on add queue over here so as soon as you click on add queue a new entry will be added in a table okay so this is the queue underscore demo queue so go ahead and click on this and you can explore more about this queue okay so let's go back to exchanges and our exchange that is exchange underscore demo and here we need to bind exchange with queue by using routing key and here you can see the option add binding from this exchange to queue so we have exchange named exchange underscore demo and we have a queue named queue underscore demo right and let's pass the queue name here let's say queue underscore demo okay and here we need to you know you need to pass the routing key for example let's say routing underscore key underscore demo so this is the routing key all right so just remember we are binding this exchange named exchange underscore demo with the queue named queue underscore demo by using a routing key that is routing underscore key underscore demo okay great now next what we'll do we'll bind exchange with the queue by using this routing key so go ahead and click on this bind okay you can see well, you can able to see as soon as you click on bind a new entry will be added over here in a table okay so it means that this exchange is successfully bind to this queue by using this routing key if you want to unbind this link you can go ahead and click on this unbind button over here okay now go ahead and click on queues over here 
and go to q underscore demo and you can able to see binding okay so now we have successfully bind this exchange with this particular current key using this routing key well whenever a producer sends a message to the exchange then exchange will basically use this binding to route that message to the respective queue so in order to demonstrate that what i'm going to do is i'm going to send a message to the exchange so go to exchange tab and go to our exchange that is exchange underscore demo and here we have option to publish the message to the exchange so go ahead and click on this publish here and whenever you know producer want to publish the message producer have to pass the routing key as well as the message so the routing key in our case we have given routing underscore key underscore demo right so make sure that you you know pass the correct routing key and in a payload section we need to pass the message let's say hello world is the message all right now let's go ahead and let's click on this publish message and you can see the you know pop up here message published and just go ahead and close it and in order to verify this message is successfully routed to the queue or not so go to queues tab over here and go to our queue that is queue underscore demo and just scroll down and here you can see the option get message and you can see message is one it means that the message hello world that we have sent to the exchange is successfully routed to the queue well in order to view the message in a queue what you can do is you can just click on this get message it will show the messages in a queue for example hello world message right so we have sent this hello world message to the exchange and exchange basically used this routing key to route this hello world message to the queue right so we can able to see the message hello world in a queue now all right so this is how basically the flow goes all right the producer will basically send a message along with the routing key to the exchange and then exchange will use that routing key to route that message to the respective queue right so this is how the flow goes in a rabbit mq architecture all right i hope you understood how to use this rabbit mq management plugin to explore more about rabbit mq you know flow or architecture all right so you can go and create a multiple queues and multiple you know routing key to explore more about RabbitMQ by using this RabbitMQ management website or a plugin. Okay, so this is a very useful RabbitMQ management plugin that you can use whenever you use RabbitMQ in a your project. All right, great. I will see you in the next lecture.